guys so in this video i'm gonna make a meme generator bot uh, some of you might have seen it um, so so any in any bot like this uh, you have to first start with the place where um, you know the apis to create the memes so basically to create the function so in this case the function is to create memes so so let's just start with finding out a meme generator api I think for a mean generator API, and this is the first result that I got. Now you can see this is the actual mean we actually we used mean the API that we used in our previous bot. So let's start with making a new bot. So it's making the one. Now in the API itself, we can see that there is an API endpoint called get memes, which basically, if you read this, it basically uh, results uh, response back with a list of um, images which can be used as a meme. So this is one of the memes, one does not simply, and ancient aliens is another meme. And the URL for this is right here. So you just copy this. Now we are in the new bot. We are adding a gambit here. Start from here. We use the API section. We use get. Why? Because the method is get here. So use get here. Sim, uh, just paste, copy paste this URL right here. Let's test it out. And you can see the data here coming in. So let me just see what this image URL actually is so this is your meme so these are the images that it returns so let me uh, so the first our job is to actually show this um, uh, these images in our uh, first gambit itself so what we are going to do here we're going to use the cards uh, input here let's just first start with put the text here select a meme on the list and this cards input ui what we are going to do is we are going to use something called data iteration and we are going to give a reference to this habit is uh, basically we are going to give a reference to the api response coming on this gambit so as you might know we have to use pre for an api response followed by the name of the gambit followed by the data iterator that we have to that we want to use so in this case uh, pre.gid1 will give us this whole data and we need to get to this particular in variable because this is a this is the array as you can see this uh, this is an array of objects this is the first object this is the second object and you know, this is basically each object has the all the information about the the meme itself the text the image the id and all so we are going to use this uh, if you can see I've just used what I've done is I've just uh, added data in memes memes in this uh, uh, in this reference that it can refer basically now it refers to this particular array uh, within the data iterator. Now once we are here we can simply put uh, uh, the reference to the image variable uh, the image URL variable within the object each of the object in that array so so this is we are now up to this object and we can just use this url here of course this has to be in in curly basis what will this will do is it will go through uh, this array which is uh, the pre.gid1 or data.memes which is this array it will go through through each of the objects in this array and pick this 
URL variable and put it here as simple as that and now if we want to put the name of the meme we can just put it like this don't need any description so we can just remove this and if you want you can put other stuff here right now we just leave it like that um, or maybe just leave it as text and let me just save this deploy and test it out see if it's working select the meme from the list and you can see it's working I got all the memes here which you can select and you know, do more things.